And on Saturday at farmer's market, we are also there. And of course, the farmer's market, we do that throughout the year. So far, I've managed to acquire a spot at the farmer's market, which is a big thing to me. We got the opportunity of the farmer's market. So yeah, that, I added that to our business, so we started growing. I'm at the St. John's Farmer's Market, usually two weekends a month. Most people know about the St. John's Farmer's Market at the old Metrobus bus barns. I have no affiliation with the market organizers. I don't even know who is organizing the market these days. I just kind of want to acknowledge how awesome it is because you know, small businesses or even individuals have this platform to sell their, their products or, you know, their artisan crafts and things like that. It's really cool what's, what's happening there. It's offering people avenues to go into business for themselves. Our friends and people we used to know from school, they just started to inspire us into making this into something bigger than just doing stuff for like potlucks and catering and like different events and stuff so that's where the farmers market came in we approached them and said that we are interested in you know, just setting it up like that was just like a little experiment that we wanted to do and we had a really good response from there uh, and that it, it we just we've never looked back we just started to grow from there so it was kind of a family company and a family time we was in the market every Saturday, and when we grow in that market, and the farmer's market, St. John's farmer's market, <laughs> and I met a lot of people there. I think that I connect with the community. If you watch any of the videos on my channel, you probably notice that I really focus on people that are coming to Newfoundland, whether from other provinces in Canada, or even more specifically, people that are immigrating to Canada and choosing Newfoundland. The role that the St. John's farmer market is playing for people that are coming to Newfoundland from other provinces or from wherever around the world is so important. There are a lot of businesses, small businesses that pursued their small business because of the opportunity presented by the farmer's market. So, you know, you have bakers or arts and crafts makers that had a good product and, and thought maybe this is a good avenue for me to actually develop a business. Actually pursuing a, a business license was something that they did to accommodate their application to come to the St. John's farmer's market. A lot of these people that have great products to sell may have not otherwise pursued what they do as a business. I have a place where our products can be sold, the farmer's market. You can see us there on Thursday, Saturday. Yeah, that's when we take our product there. I would say the business is growing. And then I thought, well, I'd like to be at the farmer's market. So I filled out the paperwork documentation for that and they accepted it. I was like, okay, I guess I'm really doing this. Uh, most of my products are sold at the farmer's market. I go to the farmer's market on every second Saturday of, of the month. Some of the people that I've, I've met and, and become friends with have used the farmer's market as a bit of a launch pad for their business. Now they've kind of graduated from the market. Some people have come through, grown their business to a point that they felt comfortable to move out on their own, but they still were able to, to use the platform of the market. Some people are using it once a month, every second week, every week. Some people are juggling their Saturdays with the full business model that they have in a, in a separate location. It just seems so flexible and it's helped so many people that have develop their own business since. They don't need my help to market themselves. It's not about promoting the market as a whole, although I hope whatever I'm doing here now helps, but it's about acknowledging the boost that the market has provided for so many people that have now developed thriving businesses and that may not have happened if it wasn't for the platform that the farmer's market provided them. So then 2019, I think it was, is when we moved the market moved into the bus barns in our new location, much larger. And I think more people knew about it then because social media was much larger by that time. And in the mainstream media, like on television and radio, it was, there was, we, the market was receiving a ton of coverage. There's a lot of folks that have kind of graduated from the market. They use that as a, as a launch pad for their business and have moved on to their own individual locations. The Newborn Atlanta Clothing Store, for example. And there's quite a few others that have come through the market and have opened businesses that stand alone, but still operate at the farmer's market as well, like Curry Delight. Some people have come through the market and have actually, you know, left the province. That's, that's fine too. In a way, that just shows that the avenue that passes through the market leads to success. 
we had the farmers market on Saturday. Oh yeah, we do home day market every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, yeah. like yes, yeah, every week, every every week. Every week. Yeah. Super, so good. Yeah, the Thursday market, this multicultural food and craft. I do go there too to um, display my products too, cake product, the treats, every Thursday. Throughout the year, they'll have one-off markets with. I believe they had a, like a youth market recently, a black business owners market, a specific women's market, uh, lots of different specific markets kind of sprinkled throughout the year. At least last year they had uh, an international market on Thursdays. I'm not sure if it's still running right now, but I know they ran it for like a half a year at least last year and it's helped some of the people that I got to know, some of the business owners. There's a Christmas market, there's, there's all these specific one-off markets and short-term markets in, in addition to the Saturday being, as far as I know, the, the flagship, but they have the hump day market. They try different things to help the small business owners that operate out of the market. 